Hello everyone and welcome to Alan Wake Part 2 following the introduction of our game. Last time we made it to the cabin or we were we were outside the cabin. This time we're gonna move it's into this area. Right. We're gonna go Don't into the diver's aisle. Let's get into this game. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Bird leg cabin. Oh, that sounds sounds nice. There's birds. Friendly, friendly birds. We open the lock with our fancy key. On. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Hello. Anyone here? Let's look for any coffee thermos a little. Just take a glance around. Keep these doors open. Nope, nothing to do here. The magic question right here is left or right? I'm gonna go right because it just seems Nicer. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. Wow, that looks beautiful. This is one fancy hookup that Alan found. Look at this. This is so nice. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, well, can I examine this? I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator that, somewhere that, on that the was That was unnecessary. <coughs> I understand that you're trying to get me on the edge, and I'm already on the edge, trust me. Every time I start the game, I'm already nervous and scared, so... You don't have, you don't have to start on me, trust me. I, I easily I flow into this. The power cable goes to that shed over there. Okay, power cable. Hey, there you are. Okay, follow the power cable. Make our way into that uh, that shed. See what we can find in here. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. All right, we can we can start it up, I guess. There you go. Uh, this this somehow generates power. I'm not gonna question it. Let's just say it works. Imagine this lake. Look at how beautiful that is. I mean, okay. once the sun goes down, probably not that beautiful. But for now, look at this. And you get a cutscene. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. And now it's dark. So it went from this... Ooh. Alice had told me about Calden Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel. But these days, it was no longer open to the public. But there are lights on. Where is it? No. Where are you? Oh, somewhere over there. Anyways, my point is, it looks so nice in the day, beautiful, gorgeous, and now you get dark, and we're suddenly in a not-so-friendly place in the middle of nowhere. And even the light out the window is scary. And look at this, we have a dungeon-type area down here. This is not... You hear that noise? It's the sound of us gonna die soon, watch. Look how dark this is. Let's go inside. Maybe it's there's a fireplace in here or something. We can Alice? It can be cool. Honey? We can, we can be equal. Ooh, ooh, something green. Radio. Yeah. 
Okay, let's go back upstairs. It's probably up there somehow. Probably in that dark room, or we we're afraid of. I have a surprise for you. Bet you do. Bet you do. Ah! Hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Oh. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Don't do it, Alan. We, we, we've been there before. You saw what happened last time. It's dark in there. It's eerie. Alright, Alan. Get a... Knock on that door. Just... Surprise! Surprise! Alice? <laughs> what is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past... Damn, Alice! You... Everyone Hey, hey, hey! Just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No! It's not like that! That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't! Just don't! I don't want to hear it! God damn it, Alice! God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. <sighs> Why, Alan? Why would you do this? I don't blame you. Do the exact same thing. Damn it. Where's your Durazo batteries and all that fancy stuff? Fancy gizmos. Alice? We're out. I'm coming. No, Alice. Alice, I'm coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm coming. What the hell? Help me. Uh, where's the cabin? Run, 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 run. Alice. Yeah, save you. No, no. Don't even trip. Relax. Something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. I think Alan is on something that gets him into these types of scenarios. Ooh, examine. Because he should. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. He just wakes up and all these random car crashes or runs over some guy in a dream. The gas Don't station know, was Adam. my best bet. Don't know. They'd have a phone I could hey, look use. A car. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. If there's a car right there, you can we're okay. There's people around here. Maybe not so friendly, Damn. but once we told them that we're a famous writer, they're gonna be friendly to us or something, maybe they're gonna give us a lift, cause obviously we need it now, I'm not sure, we'll figure something out Alan, don't even worry. Hello? Hey, hey look, follow the light. Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. 
course you don't remember it. You're always on something, Alan. Your inspirational source will be your downfall. You guys hear that? There's like owls. Oh, an owl. It's so eerie. Anybody there? Please! I've been in an accident! You hear that? This game's atmosphere is amazing. Sorry about that you guys, the phone rang, had to go attend it, but basically probably gonna cut the video around this area, maybe head out to a little bit further side. out north and then I wouldn't have to cut it here, the we, down to we the can continue the next episode. Phone. Hope you guys enjoyed it, I tried to do real time commentary, I know there was a lot of background noise, my computer, but I tried, hope you enjoy it.